Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. In today's episode we'll talk about enums. Strings are fantastic. No, really. They, they, they are. They allow us to store a lot of different types of data. From very simple ones like names and addresses, to a little bit more complex ones like dialogue lines or descriptions. But because of that versatility, they tend to be a little bit overused. There are some things for which we use them quite commonly, but they do really terrible job at that. For example, grouping stuff together. Imagine a simple RPG game. You have a lot of different types of items. Weapons, armors, helmets, potions, and so on. And in the inventory you have different slots for them. You know, helmet can go only to the helmet slot. So to achieve that you decided to split the items to different groups. And you did that using string. Then after a few hours of work you realized that you misspelled the group name several times. Okay, you fixed that. Well, then you realized that sometimes you started the group name with a uppercase letter and sometimes with lowercase letter. Okay, you got a little bit annoyed and decided to do something about it. You have decided to use constants. It's not the worst solution in the world, but it also has its own problems. So you invite your friend Johnny to work with you on the game. And Johnny didn't realize you had those constants and just used regular strings. And of course, done all the errors you've done before. Well, well, well. There is a solution to all of those problems. And that's enums. Enums are basically simple custom types consisting of predefined values. To create a new enum you basically create something like a class, but use the word enum instead of the word class. Then inside of it you list all of the values separated by comma. And then automagically you can create variables of the type you defined. To assign a value to it you use the type name, dot and the value name. And I'm not sure you realized, but because the values are predefined, the autocomplete works just fantastically well. And of course, because it is a separate type, the values are validated so you cannot enter any random stuff. And you know there is one more hidden benefit of using enums. If you use them, you are very cool. No, just kidding. I mean, you are cool even if you don't use enums. Especially if you already subscribe to my channel and like this video. No, but seriously, there is one more thing. If you make an enum variable visible in the inspector, you will be able to select a value from the list. Seriously, this is just fantastic. And that's really it for today. I hope you have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.